After more than a year and a half, fully vaccinated travelers from the UK, Europe, China, India, Brazil, and other countries will be allowed to enter the United States. Travelers must provide proof they've been vaccinated with a jab approved by the US FDA or the WHO. China's vaccines from Sinovac and Sinopharm are on the list, but the Sputnik V vaccine developed in Russia is not. Travelers must also have a negative COVID-19 test taken within three days of travel. There are a few exemptions. Children under 18 don't need to be vaccinated, but nearly everyone else will have to meet these standards. The Biden administration has been working directly with airlines to prepare for the rush of passengers. Still, travelers should be prepared for long lines at customs and immigration here in the United States. But many say it's worth it, including Faiza Ramon, who came to Dulles Airport outside Washington to meet her nephew. Um, he doesn't have a father. My brother died when he was a year and a half, and um, practically his mother. The wait goes on, and then the reunion. You can uh, call on uh, FaceTime and stuff like this, but personally, yeah, it's better. And for travelers like Rukia Shaka, it's been way too long away from that special someone. Tell me what you're going to do. See friends and family, actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, we're going to be on TV. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I missed you too. Yeah, so uh, this is the reason I came here. <laughs> A reunion yes, worth the wait, but one they hope they never have to repeat again.